My last name is Shira. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Because <laughs> it's like Italian, but my family and I are not. Like, we're like Fuzzoli's Italian. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, barely Italian, but definitely gross. <laughs> I was talking to a real Italian guy, and he said, I don't know how you pronounce your last name. He was real Italian, like Olive Garden, right? <laughs> Pretty authentic. He said, I'm not gonna pronounce your last name. Your last name is Shiara, which this does a lot of the heavy lifting there. Okay. <laughs> you know I mean? Like somebody could be like, hello, God, but God said the queen would be like, it's pretty Italian. <laughs> like guys, you know, I wanna work at his pizzeria, actually. <laughs> but doesn't it feel kind of messed up when somebody pronounces a whole sentence in their normal accent and then chooses one word to kind of zhuzh up? Zhuzh is word of the day if you're following with your if you're following with the Old Testament right now. But well, you know, I, mean, I was at a restaurant with a friend, and he was like, "Well, I'm gonna grab a water, some chips, and some white queso." <laughs> you're white, so it's just queso. You might as well order the spit in my cheese. That's what you're getting. Right? There are some words that you gotta be, some words are trickier than others, like fajita. You gotta meet fajita halfway, right? Cause you can't be like mas fajitas, your name's Kyle, relax. <laughs> but you also can't be like, I don't want any of them damn fajitas, fajitas. It's like, does he think that's a slur? That was awful. <laughs> I don't know. I graduated from college in May. I got a degree in journalism and I do stand up comedy. So, I wasn't even the funny part yet. You guys just hurt my feelings, actually. You guys friends with my dad? What is this? Like, I don't even want to do a joke now. Uh, journalism, comedy. I don't know what I want to do. I just know that I want to be poor. I feel like you guys hate me, actually. I got a degree in journalism, so as tradition would have, I got a job at the zoo. <laughs> I, I, was, I, I got a job at a janitor at the zoo. You know, my official title was guest services, uh, but when somebody puked, I cleaned it up, so. <laughs> I was making sprinkling sawdust everywhere. I think you know a job's gonna be awful when they hire you on the first phone call. <laughs> when they're just like, oh no, you're hired. I'm like, what? Like, you don't need to see my resume? They're like, you speak French? I'm like, what? <laughs> well, I kind of play along, I'm like, blah, blah, I guess. And they're like, good, you're gonna be cleaning up some wee-wee. Uh, 